Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another story with Miss Corey. And today, in honor of our trip to the Mifflinburg Hose Company, I thought we could put together a fun craft project or two that all has to do with fire safety and fire prevention. Well, actually they don't have a whole lot to do with either one of those, but it's all about fire safety and fire prevention month in October. And I thought we could make something fun to go along with that. When we were at the fire hose company, I noticed one thing they didn't have. I mean, they had big trucks and they had the cool uniforms and they even have a giant fire hydrant inside their fire station. But what they didn't have was a dog. So I thought maybe we should make a whole bunch of cute little Dalmatian dogs for their fire trucks. And this is the one that I found that we could make. Isn't he cute? And all he is made out of is a toilet paper tube. And since we spent all the spring um, hoarding toilet paper, everybody should have lots of these little rolls around your house that make lots of fun crafts with. The other fun craft we're gonna do is make our own little campfire. And um, let me go shut the lights off a minute so you can really see how nicely that lights up in the dark. Here we go. Look at that. You can kind of see it glow a little more as it flickers in the, in the night sky. We'll turn the lights on again so you can see what we're gonna do. And with these, um, with this craft, there's a couple different ways we can do it. And we're gonna use tissue paper and little plastic cups and a tea light candle. Isn't that clever? So we're gonna go ahead and make that today. But the first craft we're gonna start off with is going to be the Dalmatian dog. So in order to do that, you're going to need, like I mentioned, the toilet paper rolls. You're going to need a, a rectangle of white construction paper. You're going to need some black construction paper out of which we can cut a tail and some ears and a nose. And you're going to need either red construction paper or we used red foam paper to make the hat and a star. Of course, if you come down to the um, Her Memorial Library in Mifflinburg, you can pick up a craft kit that will have all these items ready for you um, inside the bag and you can go home and make it yourself. But if you can't make it to our library, you can still make this at home if you have these materials. So the first step you need to do is take your paper and you have to draw a whole bunch of black spots all over it because Dalmatians are spotted. And you wanna make them of various sizes. And you wanna make them all over the paper it doesn't matter um, exactly where because you just want to make them random. And you can make as many or as few as you like because, you know, it's a Dalmatian. And if you like the movie 101 Dalmatians, you'll know that they have lots of spots, those beautiful spots. So the next step you want to take, though, is turn your paper upside down and take your glue bottle. I don't recommend a glue stick for this because we need it to stick to the, to the cardboard tube. And a glue stick might not work as well. And you want to put enough glue on the back so that it will stick to the construction, to the toilet paper tube. And then all we did was roll it so that it picks it up and you can roll the paper all the way over. Now you'll notice that we have some overlappage here. We did that intentionally. So that, that does is that gives your, your dog some strength here. So we're going to put just a little bit of glue on the inside rim like so. And then you just want to tuck your paper over the side. And you're gonna to wanna to do that on both sides of the toilet paper roll. And just push it on in nice and tight. And if you need to add a little bit more glue, you can. Just make sure it's nice and secure. And then you can do the other side. See all the extra overlap we have on that side too? Again, we're just gonna put a little bit of glue on the inside of the paper here. And just like we did on the underside, we're going to fold it over just like so. And there we have the body of our Dalmatian. And if you'd like, you can run an extra bead of glue along the seam just to make sure that it stays down nice and solid. Just like that. So then the next step you want to take is to make your hat. If you haven't cut out your hat, you need to cut it out. Just What we did is we just made a triangle shape and then gave it a wider brim on the bottom. And we cut these out of foam paper that makes them a little bit bigger and more secure. And then we just took a star stamp and punched out a whole bunch of yellow stars. If you, if you don't have that, you can always draw a star. You can draw a number on here. Um, you can draw a badge if you'd like. Be creative. 
But for our fire hats, we just have a star. And we're gonna put that in the center of his hat, like that. And then, on your toilet paper tube here, since the seam is here, that'll be our back side, so we wanna to go to the front side, and this will be our front. And we're going to glue the hat right along the top, just like that. You just wanna kinda of set it on there and wait for it to dry. Now that may take a few minutes, um, and while that's drawing, you can work on the next part of the craft, which would be to cut out the ears, the nose, and the tail from your construction paper. The ears look kind of like socks. They're just um, long. They're about an inch and a half, two inch long rectangles that we cut and then made rounded edges and kind of narrowed in the middle here so it looks like an ear. And we're going to end up folding over the tops so that we can glue them in, um, glue this part on the inside of the toilet paper tube while this side hangs out. And that's how you do the ears. You want to do that. You can double the paper over so your ears are identical. It'll be even symmetrical. We learned about symmetry last week in our craft. Then you need to cut out the tail. And here again, too, you can be as creative with this as you like. Um, we have provided a long strip of black construction paper. And all we did here was kind of cut on a um, half moon angle all the way down and then leaving a wide edge at the bottom. And then at the top here we came back and we gave him a point and kind of rounded it off and came down here to the bottom again and rounded it off there too. And that kind of gave us a nice long tail. But we want to make our tail curve. So you're going to need a pencil for this and you just want to take your tail and you want to wrap it around the pencil in a spiral fashion. And this will curve the tail. Now Dalmatians don't have really, really curly tails, so you don't want it a super tight curve, but we want it enough so that it pops out the side. So as you can see, our, our hat is still gluing, but it's on there enough secured where I can go on the back side of our Dalmatian, put a little dab of glue, and I can glue our tail right on his back like that. And then it kind of pops out and sticks out. Again, you might need to hold it. Maybe you want to sing the alphabet song while you're securing it, or maybe count to 20. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then it holds. Same with your hat. So the next step is we're gonna take those ears I was telling you about, we're going to put a little bit of glue on the inside of the fold here and we're going to push it down on one side of the head and do the same with the opposite side. And as you can see, the ear will pop up a little bit. That's okay. When it's fully glued, you can push it down again and they will hold and his ears will pop out. You got to see him behind that hat, right? Then the next thing you need to do is glue on your eyes. In our kit, we've provided the googly eyes. If you don't have a kit, you can make your own eyes, either with marker, you can draw his eyes on, or you can cut, punch out um, black and white circles out of construction paper and make your own eyes. And you can glue his eyes on like so. And then underneath his eyes, we need to glue his nose like so. And the nose, we just took um, our square construction paper and we cut out kind of an oblong circle, kind of a rounded triangle of sorts. And we just glue that on like so. And then the last thing that we're gonna do on our dog here is we have to draw him a smile. And so with your black marker, you want to draw just a little smile and you can put little cheek marks here if you like. And if you like, you can even add a little red tongue. If you have construction paper, um, you can cut out a construction paper tongue, or you can use another marker or a red pen if you have one. And I think I have one right here. And you can just draw a little tongue on him, like so. Oh, 
Okay. You can also draw eyebrows on your dog if you like. You're going to want to use a thinner marker for that. And you want to just come above the top here and give him some eyebrows. And you can even give him eyelashes if you wish. And you'll notice I have a spot right there, and that's okay, because on real Dalmatian dogs, sometimes their spots are right by their eyes. And that's how you make your Dalmatian dog. Did they turn out kind of cute? Just let them dry thoroughly before you play with them. And they'll be really sturdy and fun to play with. So the next craft that we were gonna do is going to be our bonfire kit. And there are two ways to make our bonfire but they both start off the same. You're gonna to need to have your um, strips of brown construction paper. And what we have here are six, and they're about eight inches long, um, and they're about half an inch, three quarters of an inch wide. And what we're gonna do is we're going to spiral glue them together. If you look at our sample, you can see how they're all kind of stuck together. And with that case, we just take one, put a little bit of glue in the middle, and make a cross and then put a little bit of glue in the middle and you want to cross it again like you're cutting a pie and then more and put it on like so and if you want more wood on your fire you can just keep adding and if you'd like to get really creative you can use your scissors to cut the wood to have lots of little sticks or if you like, you can even use your marker to draw wood lines, which is what we did on that one. And again, you just take your pen and draw some squiggly lines to imitate wood. Try to be creative on your wood here. Maybe you want to have some spots on your, on your wood, maybe from where a bug got into the wood when it was a tree. And you can just draw some wavy lines, however you like to design your tree wood. But try to be creative on each one. And you want to go all the way around and do that for all of your wood so that it looks like our sample one. You're going to want to let that sit off somewhere to dry really securely. So now we're actually going to make the fire. The fire is made with these clear plastic cups. And there's two ways to do this. You are going to need tissue paper though. You're going to need squares of red, squares of yellow, and squares of orange. And um, that may mean if you can't come into the library where we've already pre-cut them for you, you can either buy them pre-cut, they're a little bit harder to find and sometimes a little more pricey, or just buy the regular tissue paper and then cut them in one inch strips and then cut the one inch strips into one inch squares. And then you have nice squares um, for doing these kind of crafts. So the first way to go ahead and do this is to spend a lot of time with a pencil and your tissue paper. And maybe for you older kids that are doing this craft, this might be the way you wanna do it. And you just take your tissue paper and you push it up against the edge of the pencil like this until you get a nice flat bottom and you have a a squished, crumpled up bottom, little bit of tissue paper. You can also use your fingers to crumple it up if you prefer, um, but be careful not to smush it too much because then you get too small. You really want it to be kind of loose and light. And then you're gonna take your glue and you're going to, I recommend you work in small sections. And you wanna put some glue on your cup and just work in a small section at a time because otherwise it dries really fast. And then put your tissue paper on like so. And then take a yellow one and wrap it around your pencil and put it on. And then take an orange one and try not to have these stick to your fingers if your fingers get too sticky from glue, so be careful. And then put your orange one on. And then maybe another red one. We can reverse our pattern here. This is a good way to teach patterns to little kids. And, um, and counting, maybe you want to count how many orange ones versus red or yellow that you use. And you just want to continue gluing up the entire side of the cup. 
Now I will tell you that this takes a long time to do. I think on my sample one that we made here, that took me almost 45 minutes to do that entire cup. And when we got up to the top here, we went all the way around the side of the cup. And then when we got to the top of the cup, we did it on the top also. So you're gonna to wanna to sit here and um, glue. And this is, it doesn't have to be tightly compacted together either. If you leave a little bit of space in between, the glue will dry clear. And then you will have spaces for the light from the candle inside to shine through. And that also helps make it look more like a flickering campfire. It's kind of a cool effect when it's completely dark. It's harder to see here um, because it's daylight, but at nighttime, it's really cool. And if you guys want to use it as a night light, you could even do that because it's a battery operated tea light. So that is how you do that on the side there. And then, like I said, on the top, you just want to put more glue and continue covering it until you get this. That's how it'll look when it's all finished. Like I said, it takes quite a while. For those of you that don't want to spend all that time scrunching up paper or smooshing it on with a pencil, or if you just have little kids that don't want to do that or can't do that, here's another way to do it. Again, take a clear plastic cup and working in sections, put your glue on your cup and then just lay your tissue paper squares on the cup. This goes much faster as you can imagine. You want to, um, you can overlap your tissue a little bit. It's okay if it pops up. Some of those, like that's a rectangle. That's okay if it pops up. And you kind of want to overlap a little bit because as the light shines through, it'll give it a really cool looking um, reflection as the colors will blend. And as you can see, that goes much faster. And then you can work on your next section. And maybe we'll put a little bit of orange here. And maybe we'll even put just a little dollop of glue on here so that this yellow pops down. And we can make it pop out a little bit. And we'll put some red up, more red up here. And more yellow. It doesn't have to be perfect or even. And that's how you're gonna do that one. And when that one's all said and done, it looks like this sample, which still looks like a fire, doesn't it? And even under the light, it will show you that. And so that's how you do your campfire. The last thing you need for your campfire then would be to make a s'more and a s'more stick. And to do that, all you need is a skewer. And parents, if you're concerned about the sharp tips, you can cut the sharp tip off just with regular scissors. Um, I don't know if my safety, yeah, my safety scissors can even cut it off. So it's nice and flat. You don't have to worry about a sharp tip. And then just take a cotton ball and you want to stretch it out a little bit. And if your kids like burned marshmallows, you can take a black marker. And as you can see in our sample, we colored it. And then you just want to insert your skewer stick inside the cotton ball. And here you are, you're ready to make s'mores. Isn't that a fun craft idea? If you guys have dolls or um, action figures that like to have campfires, even they could sit around your homemade campfire and enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed our fire safety and prevention um, Thing that we did this summer or I mean this week oh my goodness where did summer go so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoy the crafts that we've put together we look forward to seeing you again next week thank you bye